we are going to be doing a documentary slash how-to on Inkscape. Inkscape is a open source program. It's free. Um, and it can be used to create all kinds of different graphics. So, as you can see, we got plenty of tools to work with here. Um, some of the main tools we're going to use is the selection tool and that second tool you see here. Um, we're also going to do uh, use the magnification tool and um, we're going to use a few others as well and the gradient tool. So what we're first going to do is use the magnification tool, click about four times so you get a nice size to work with. And use that tool I just clicked on here and just uh, click kind of the path that you want and end it and then you're going to click that second tool there and highlight all those nodes and click that um, loop tool to smooth out the uh, hard edges and as you can see here I'm clicking and dragging those nodes to manipulate them and uh, into a, a shape that I want now what we're going to be doing here is creating a simple flower. Um, I think it's a really good thing like to start out with. So I'm going to remove the stroke, which means I'm going to remove the black line that was around it. And now I'm going to click the selection tool and click Control D to duplicate the object. And then I click it again so I can manipulate it. You can see those arrows change as I click it again. Now I'm going to duplicate it again, click it again, and manipulate it so it's a better angle. And now we kind of got our basic flower shape. Now what we're going to do is use the eclipse tool and hold control as you draw out the eclipse so it's a perfect circle and change that color to orange by clicking on the color bar. Now we're going to use filters and click ABCs and diffuse light. That's going to give it that nice texture. We're going to do that for all our pieces here. So as you see, I'm using the selection tool, and then I'm using the filters on each thing that I'm selecting. And that's going to just give it a nice look to it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the gradient tool and click and drag it. And then we're going to click on the dark purple and give it some more definition. And we're going to do that for all of our petals. All you got to do is select it and click and drag. Kind of like shading. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one and lower it a few layers. So it looks a little better. And I use that tool right up there. Now I'm going to file and save just like any other document. And I'm going to name it Purple Flower. Um, uh, I hope this has helped you, and if you have any questions, just uh, comment, like, and subscribe. PHX for watching. If you have any questions, PHX for watching. If you have any questions,